Hi guys, welcome back to Rock Fabulous Sporties, and today I'm going to do a review for you guys on a brand that I had never heard of before. And it started out, I was in Kohl's, it was about a month, month and a half ago, and I was going through their makeup area because they do carry those more popular brands like The Balm and Lorac and Pure and, and those kind of brands. And as I was walking around looking at the makeup, I ran across a display that just caught my eye. And I don't go to Kohl's that often, but yet I had never seen this display at Kohl's before either. So it caught my eye. I stopped and I looked at the display and the display was just all these lip products. And there was liquid lipsticks, there were cream lipsticks, there were matte cream lipsticks, there were lip tints and lip inks and just all these different lip products. And the brand that I'm talking about is called Lick. L-I-Q-U-E. Lick, right? Kind of a cute name, I guess, for lip products. Kind of a weird name too, I guess. I, I don't know. It, it makes sense to me. Anyways, so like I said, Lick, was a, Lick is a brand that I'd never heard of before, so I picked up a couple of shades in this product. Now this particular product that I picked up is a matte liquid lipstick. So after I picked up these matte liquid lipsticks, I came home, by the way, I picked them up for $12 a piece at Kohl's. So they're really, they're actually kind of affordable. I mean, if you think about it, drugstore makeup prices are getting up there in price now. So, you know, these are kind of almost drugstore kind of prices, maybe a little higher, but almost. So upon getting these home and doing some research, I found that this brand was developed by a really talented makeup artist. Her name is Ashley O'Rourke. And she designed these here in the USA, but these were actually made in China. So if you guys have any issues with products made in China, then you know you might not like these. Um, however, I do want to point out though, even though they were made in China, they are cruelty free. That is definitely something, I'm trying to hide my face here so you guys can see, right there. So not tested on animals, do you guys see that? And I'm going to go ahead and jump right in and talk about this product. Now, like I said, I picked this up at Kohl's. It is exclusive to Kohl's. And the one that I picked up is the Matte Liquid Lipstick. Now, I am normally a liquid lipstick hater. If you guys have followed me on my channel for any given point or time, you guys know that I'm just not the biggest fan of liquid lipsticks. I think that they feel drying. They feel uncomfortable. I can have them on for a little while and it just makes me want to just scrub my lips off and just put lip balm on because it just they just make my lips feel horrible. I had the same thought about these. Now I am wearing this one today. This one is in the color called Saddle and it's kind of a dusty mauve color I guess. and. Look at this packaging. I mean, really, can you guys, look at that. That is just freaking awesome, right? I mean, it's, it looks very luxurious, actually. The, um, I know I'm jumping around, guys. I'm sorry, I haven't filmed for a while. Um, the packaging, the, the cap on the packaging, or the lid on the packaging, has that kind of rubberized kind of feeling to it. It, it is very luxurious feeling, and I do really like that. And they do have a substantial, amount of weight to them. So they do not at all feel like a cheap product. So that's one plus. Second plus, these are 100% a matte liquid lip that do not transfer. See, no transfer. They do not transfer. And they do not make my lips feel so parched that I want to scrub my face off. Okay, they actually, I wouldn't say that they're moisturizing, but they don't make me feel really dry and uncomfortable. These are extremely long wearing. I have worn them, oh gosh, I've had this one on now for a few hours and it hasn't even, you know how a lot of liquid lipsticks, they'll do that little center where it wears off in the center there. 
it hasn't even done that. So, I mean, these are really long wearing. I have gone all day with these and had just very, very minimal wear in the center portion, which wasn't bad at all. Um, they are very lightweight and they are very, I want to say full coverage. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to swatch these guys for you. I'm not going to swatch them on my lips because I already have saddle on my lips right now and I don't want to have to scrub it to get it off because once it's on there, it's on there. So I'm going to swatch them on the back of my hand so you guys can just kind of see the color. And like I said, saddle is what I'm wearing right now. Let me go ahead and just the lid twist off. Okay, you have your doe foot applicator, but it's kind of a flat doe foot. You guys see that? And it's got kind of a little angle to it, which I think makes it very, very easy to apply product to the lip. And I love the point on that doe foot as well. You can get right up there into that cupid's bow area of your lip. So the formula on these are very, very lightweight, very moussey type texture. If you guys have ever felt like a NYX liquid suede or the NYX whipped, maybe it's the whipped I'm thinking of, but it's the real whipped moussey type, really lightweight texture. And it does kind of remind me of that NYX product. Yeah, I think it is the liquid suede actually. The only difference being is I feel that this is actually more comfortable than the liquid suede is to me. So this one is saddle, and then this one is doll face. And doll face is a little more rosy, but you'll notice this is more of a mauve -y, has a little bit of a berry kind of tone to it. Um, the saddle one is a dusty mauve, but it has a little bit of a grayish kind of tone to it, so that's a little bit outside my box, which is okay, because this I need to step outside my box once in a while, right? Anyway, so again, saddle and doll face right there. Now, what I like about both of these shades, and they do have brighter shades. I believe they had eight shades that I saw online, but I could have swore that in the store that they actually had more than eight. Could be wrong, but I think it was more than eight. And anyway, so what I like about these is, especially these two colors, is when applied, you can wear them for hours upon hours upon hours. And when they do actually start to break down, you don't really see it because it just kind of breaks down evenly on your lips. Like it'll start kind of in the center here, but you don't really see it because it's so even and it just kind of meshes with my lip color. So I don't notice it when it starts to wear off. So yeah, basically I have for the most part really enjoyed these two lip products that I picked up. The only thing that I would say that wasn't that I didn't like so well I guess is the fact that when you apply it it does take it a long time to completely dry down it like it stayed kind of sticky it stayed a little tacky on my lips for about a good 30 minutes before it actually completely dried down to that full transfer proof matte I do have a little bit there but not much so, I mean, it did. It took it at least 30 minutes to dry down to this complete matte finish. Um, actually, also, they do apply really well on top of each other as well. If you ever feel these, like, wearing down, you can apply more color right on top. It does not crumble and crack and flake off like a lot of liquid lipsticks do. Okay, so there you go. I applied doll face right over the top of saddle and I think because they do go on so lightweight that when you apply one on top of another it just doesn't crumble it doesn't crack I've had some liquid lipsticks that when they start to wear down I'd go and I'd apply another coat and it would just crumble right off these don't do that okay guys so that is pretty much all I have. I hope you guys found this video informative and if you did go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. If you guys would like to be notified of other up and coming videos that I have, go ahead and hit the bell down there as well. Um, 
Also, you guys, my website, www.rockfabulousonline.com, is still under construction and hopefully will be back up and running soon. But you can look me up on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, all under Rock Fabulous Sporties. And guys, remember to hit subscribe down there somewhere, and you too can rock your fabulous sporties. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.